can you weigh astral radiance? It's the first question that comes to everyone's mind when a new set first comes out. It doesn't matter if you're a collector, an investor, or a player. We all want to know one thing. When we buy booster packs from the store, can we trust that we won't get ripped off? We got all the packs weighed and in order. I put sticky notes on the packs to make it really easy for you to see the weight. I think we should go from lightest to heaviest. Fingers crossed the Pokemon got it right this time. Ideally, you won't be able to tell what packs are weighted, and then we don't have as much risk when we buy from the stores. What are my predictions? That's where we're gonna start with this video, since it is a pretty long one and we're going through a lot of packs. So my prediction is they're gonna be weighed very similar to Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars is a very, very similar set to Astral Radiance in the sense where, ooh, hollow, Mesprit, very nice. Where, uh, what kind of cards you can end up getting? There's the trainer galleries, there's the hollows, the, the V maxes, the Vs. I mean, it's very, very similar. The only difference between the two sets is the fact that Astral Radiance has Radiant cards. And I think that because of that, it's going to be very difficult for Pokemon to figure out what they need to do. Oh, Adamant Hollow, in order to make it so these packs can't be weighed. So, Stores can't sell us packs with bad cards in them. I'd also like to point out that every single pack we've opened so far had a hollow in it, which uh, suggests it might actually be weighable. So let's see what this one is. We got Magnemite, Ralts, Sneasel, Mistrevious, Basque Legion, and Rampardos Hollow again. What I find weird is the fact that we're getting all hollows and we're not getting any like full art cards or anything in there. It's suggesting that these hollows have different weights than the other rares that you could pull. So that's interesting. We got Rufflet, Ponyta, Rowlet, Drifloon as the reverse, and Typhlosion, another hollow. So the hollows could be weighed. I think at this point, what we're really looking for here is how many hollows in this set can be weighed. Like we already did four, right? So is it like the next four or five, six packs based on weight will also have hollows? Because if so, I think that could be abused. We have Hoot Hoot, Pawniard, Hoochiena, Jubilee Village, sorry, and Registeel. And that's not a hollow. Hold on a second. So as far as weight is concerned, we are kind of in the middle of the pack right now. There was only like four or maybe five packs that were quite a bit lighter. And now we're kind of in the middle where there's like 20 some packs that are all roughly the same weight. So Golduck has the reverse and Oranguru V. Oh my God, that is a very nice card. So that actually is the very first full art card that we've gotten in the set and we got it pretty early. So, We'll see what happens. If they could be weighed, that means all the cards that we are pulling from this point on should be full arts at the very least, or secret rares. As far as trainer galleries, I'm still expecting those to be a little different because they were in Brilliant Stars as well, but we'll see. And we got Overquill, so that 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 debunks my theory. <laughs> um, or maybe that's just a one-off. We'll see what happens with this pack. So we got Psychic Energy. Whizcash, Sweet Honey, Crocodoon, Stantler, Bergamite, Hippopotamus, Cyntaquil, Scyther, Gusty Pickaxe, Reverse, and Regirock. It's looking pretty good for the Pokemon community right now. We've gotten one full art, we got four hollows, and the only things that I would say could be weighed as of right now would be the hollows that are alone, that aren't with trainer galleries or anything else. But let's not make assumptions. Let's continue opening packs just to be 100% certain. We got Mantine, Unidentified Fossil as the reverse, and Reggie Drago. So I'm starting to become a little bit concerned at this point because if we keep getting no pulls, like right where we are right now, that actually might suggest they're all where the heavy packs are. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we see a pull soon. Mantine, Voltorb, Basculin, Glammeow, Petalil, Bastiodon is the reverse, and Miss Magius. The biggest reason that this matters to the community, to for anybody who doesn't know, is if you go to a card store 
and you go and buy a pack of cards loose, we'll say, right? Well, if they weighed the packs and you could weigh and decide what you want to sell and what you want to keep, that could mean that they're keeping all of the best cards. They're keeping all of the packs that have potentially the high priced cards in them. And then they just sell us the crap, more or less. But I just want to be super clear. Even if we decided that these cards aren't weighable, that doesn't mean you're 100% safe. People reseal cards all the time where they open the cards, they get what they want out of it, and then they go and put a random card in its place and reseal it. And that's that's also not a good thing. So please be careful. When you buy from a store, make sure you trust the store. We got Perugly as the reverse. And, ooh, what do we got? Machamp VMAX. That's so sad. If we would have got the alternative art one, Oh my God, that would have been awesome. So I'm gonna put the uh, alternative art on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like. But the biggest reason I wanted this card is because in my opinion, it's probably like top three as far as like the good looking cards go. Honestly, I feel like this set overall is gonna be a pretty solid set to collect or invest in if you do have the money. I think that Brilliant Stars is gonna do a little better, but honestly, all that comes down to is Brilliant Stars has a Charizard and Astral Radiance doesn't have any. We got a Psyduck, a Petalittle, Gardevoir as the Trainer Gallery, very nice, and a Little Gant as a Hollow. I just wanna say Trainer Galleries overall look really good and they need to stay. Please, Pokemon, do not get rid of Trainer Galleries. We want them, keep them, please. We got a Quilava, a Growlithe, a Bronzor, a Rufflet, a Quillfish, Rowlet, Sudowoodo as the reverse, and Shaman. So I just want to say that at this point in the video, it seems to be pretty random when we get a good card, but I do want to point out that we're starting to get better pulls a little more frequently as we get to the heavier packs. We have Mistrevious, Barboach, Garchomp, V, Trainer Gallery, and Decidueye, Hollow, double banger. There's only one trainer gallery that's worth more than the Garchomp V, and that is the Starmie V. And out of the two of them, I think the Garchomp looks better. So as far as I'm concerned, we pulled the trainer gallery that I wanted the most. So I'm not necessarily saying that I figured out the pattern, but based on what I've seen at least so far, the next few packs won't have anything in them. So we just opened a pack and it didn't have anything. So let's check this one. We have a Noctowl, a Zizu, a Dartrix, a Quillfish, a Rowlet, a Quillfish again, an Oshawott, a Hoot Hoot, Growlithe, Reverse, and Leafeon. So we've opened up two packs and we didn't get anything in them, which means this pack needs to have something. I might be wrong, but we'll see. Unidentified Fossil, Dartrix, Drifloom, Hoot Hoot, Cricket Hot, Stantler, Quillfish, Scyther, Puchiana as the reverse, and Beedrill V. See? I can't tell you how they did it, because I'm not sure. But I think the idea they're going with here is that every few packs, once you get to the certain weight threshold, you're gonna get a pull. So one, maybe two packs of nothing. So this pack will be nothing. And we'll see here, Absol reverse, Registeel, nothing. And this pack will either be one more nothing or it'll be a pull. And we'll see what happens here. Wait and see Turbo, Roxanne, Togetic, Hoot Hoot, Krikatot, Sudowoodoo, Combi, Drifloon, Glaceon is the reverse, and Choi. So let's pay very close attention to the next few packs and see if this trend holds up. I'm not suggesting stores could take advantage of this because you won't know if you're gonna have one or two packs in between but I think that's what Pokemon did. This should be nothing. Yep, Avalog, nothing. This, like I said before, it's either gonna be nothing or it's gonna be something. Spicy Season Curry, Curlia, Wait and See Turbo, Scyther, Eevee, Heracross, Mantine, Quailfish, Krikatoon is the reverse, and we got Dialga V Origin Form.
so when I was playing Pokemon Legends Arceus and I seen these origin forms for the first time, I thought they looked so dumb. I'm not sure if I'm the only one. If you think they also look dumb, let me know in the comments down below. But let's, let's follow this trend again. This will be nothing. Yanma, Ponyard, and Vespaqueen. And the next pack will more than likely be something. I've only seen two packs in between one time, so there's a really good chance that we're about to pull something right now. Glammeow, Puchiana, Glade is the reverse, and <laughs> Luxury V. And this is where my theory comes to an end because the next four packs that we have laying there are all 0.69 as far as their weight, which means I could have ended up putting them in any order when I was sorting through the packs. So I can't predict if everything's the same weight. My theory suggests that you'll get something every second pack to every third pack, but that's only if the weights continue flowing the way they're supposed to be. And that's only if you're putting the cards exactly where they're supposed to be. As you can see, that's two packs right there and we didn't get anything. And there's a possibility that we may not get something here too, because I don't remember what order I put them in. I don't think I thought about it at the time. So Arcanine, yep, nothing. I mean, obviously what this does tell us is at some point we do have to pull something, right? There's no way we can have four packs in a row with nothing. So this should be something, even considering the different weights. Ralt says the reverse and yeah, see? Palkivy origin form. That is pretty exciting though, because now we have the Dialga V and the Palkia V origin forms. We have finally reached the heavy packs. Not the heaviest, but we're, we're out of the middle ground. We're out of the point sixes, which is where I think some of the best pulls are gonna be. I could be wrong. And if I am, then this is gonna be very hard to weigh. So we'll have to see what happens here. Ooh, Vespa Queen, that's nothing. Okay, th that's fine. That's only a little bit over what the last pack was. Let's see what this pack gives us. This is very exciting news because if this pack, again, ends up being nothing, then there's a really good chance that it would be impossible to weigh these and predict what you're gonna get. Even though I found a little bit of a pattern here, you would only see the pattern if you opened the cards. You wouldn't know from somebody looking outside of the pack. Not just that, but you don't know what order to put it in. Oh, we're on Guru V. Nice. However, more than likely, we are going to see that every single one of these packs will have something in it. I don't know what it'll be. It could be trainer galleries. It could be anything, but it's going to be a hit. It's got to be. Pillow Swine, Gardenia, Brawlith, Bronzor, Rufflet, Cyndaquil, Boniard, and Radiant Greninja. There's our second hit in a row. $3-ish. It's too bad. I thought this card would be much higher, but it dropped in price really quickly. But you know what? It, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> and we got our second last pack. And this should also be a hit. So let's see what we have. Leaf Energy, Gaping Jaw Ma, Magneton, Spicy Season Curry, Bergamite, Rufflet, Bonita, Chatot, Bronzor, Frozmoth, Trainer Gallery, $1.50, roughly. So, <laughs> and... Yeah, and we got a card behind it that doesn't matter that much. <laughs> and we have, I think, yeah, this is this is the last one. It's going to be a pull too, you watch. Jubilee Village, Ponyard, Growlithe, Voltorb, Rufflet, Ponyta, and Obstagoon Trainer Gallery. So, can it be weighed? Can a store rip you off? Yes, a little bit. They know that all the lights have hollows and they won't have anything but the hollow. And they know the heavies are more than likely to have a hit. Because as you can see, all the heaviest packs had hits. But unlike the other sets, it's not as cut and dry as that. Because everything in the middle, you're not really sure. Pokemon is getting very close to nailing this. We might not even be able to weigh cards anymore. But for the time being, stick to blisters, stick to boxes stick to elite trainers 
and be safe out there.